Hello and welcome back. I'm Joseph Hoffman, and in this lesson, we're going to be doing all of our usual finger power exercises, scales, arpeggios, and diatonic chords in the key of E major, which has four, count them, four sharps. Let's come to the piano to get started. Now, what if you happen to forget that E major has four sharps? Well, the easiest way to remember how many sharps in each key signature is your ladder of fifths. So, remembering that C major has zero sharps, just travel up by fifths. C up a fifth to G. Every time you go up a fifth, you add a sharp. G major has one sharp, go up another fifth. G to D. D major has two sharps, go up another fifth to A. A major has three sharps, A up a fifth, E. By our pattern, we know that E has to have four sharps. So always use that ladder of fifths to help you remember your key signatures. E major, four sharps. Now this is also a good time to review our major seconds and minor seconds. Remember that in a major scale, it's built on all major seconds, except in a few key places. We have E to F sharp, major second, F sharp to G sharp major second, and then between the third and fourth note, or mi and fa, do, re, mi, fa, that's where we have our minor second, another major second, another major second, another major second, and then one more minor second between the seventh and eighth note, or T and do, do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. And it's the position of those major and minor seconds that make it sound major. If we did this, notice what an interesting kind of weird sound that is. It's called Phrygian mode, which has that weird sound because look, the minor second is between the first and second note. That's why our ears thinks it sounds so funny. It's because of where those minor seconds are. The minor seconds, if placed, between the third and fourth note and the seventh and eighth. That's what makes it sound major. Mi and fa, ti and do. That has to be where the half step is for it to sound like a major scale. Now our E major scale happens to use our basic fingering, which you'll recall for the right hand is one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. And then the same fingering coming down. So let's practice this in groups. Okay, take your right hand and just play these as a group. One, two, three, then one, two, three, four. Try this with me. Play each of these as a chord. Then one, two, three, then one, two, three, four, and then finger five plays the top note, then a group of four, then a group of three, then a group of four, then a group of three. I love practicing scales in these groups because if you've got those groups, You'll never miss a note as you play the scale. Your fingers will just kind of, I like to imagine my fingers just getting sucked onto the right keys. Because if you're touching the right keys, you can't play a wrong note. Your fingers are already where they belong. Okay, pause the video and I'd like you to work on the right hand two octave E major scale up and down, then press play to go on. Okay, let's work on the E major scale with our left hand. We're gonna start with finger five on E, and then we'll do a group of four, then a group of three. Try this with me, do group of four, then a group of three. Then we'll go back down, group of four, group of three, group of four, and then finger five plays the last note. Then all together, we get five, four, three, two, one, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, three, two, one. Comes down with the same fingers. As you're playing your scales, listen for a really even, smooth tone. You don't want certain notes to pop out. Often, it's your thumb. If you have a heavy thumb, you'll kind of drop on it. You want that thumb to sound just as smooth and as even as your other fingers. So listen for a smooth, even sound as you practice your scales. Pause the video to work on your left hand E major two octave scale, then press play to go on.
Now let's do the arpeggio. The right hand uses the basic fingering, one, two, three. Remember, we're just using an E major one chord, but we're stretching out a bit, one, two, three. Finger one comes under, one, two, three, five, three, two, one, three, two, one. Pause to work on your right hand E major arpeggio, then press play to go on. Now the left hand does not use the basic fingering. Our basic fingering, remember, is 5, 4, 2, 1. But in E major, because we have that sharp, a 4 is a bit awkward of a stretch. So we're going to use a 3 this time. 5, 3, 2, 1, 3, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 5. Pause to work on your left hand E major arpeggio, then press play to go on. Okay, last of all, let's do our E major diatonic chords. Now remember, we're going through every possible chord. So starting with our one chord, let's play and name these out loud. E major one chord, say it out loud. And then when we go to our two chord, remember, there are certain notes that I think of as hot lava. F and G are hot lava, C and D are hot lava because they become sharp. So when you want to play an F or a G or a C or a D, go to the sharp instead. So look, as I step up, I'd want to play these keys, but because F and C are hot lava, it becomes this is my two chord. Okay, so try this now. F sharp minor two chord. Now we're gonna step up again. There's more hot lava keys. I can't play G and D, so I have to do this. Here's my three chord. G sharp minor three chord. Say it out loud and play it. Good, now can you figure out the four chord? Go up another step. It would, it would go to here, but because C is hot lava, this is the correct answer. A major four chord, say it out loud. Good, now we're gonna step up again. B major five chord, play it and say it. Now, can you figure out the six chord? Go up one more step. If you're playing this, you're correct. C sharp minor six chord. And then we're gonna go up one more step to D sharp diminished. Say that five times fast, D sharp diminished. D sharp diminished seven chord, and then we make it all the way back to E major one chord. Those are all the diatonic chords of E major. Pause the video and play through and name those chords on your own this time, then press play to go on. Okay, now let's have some fun and improvise in the key of E major. I'd like you to use any note of the E major scale using your right hand, and I'm going to add a kind of bossa nova accompaniment which sounds like this. This is a kind of jazz style called bossa nova, and you're going to make up a melody. Any key in the E major scale that sounds good to you. Try and make the style that you play match what I'm doing. So you might make it kind of rhythmic and fun and jazzy. Have some fun making interesting rhythms and sounds using any key from E major. So try to keep those black keys in mind as we improvise. Let's jam. You can start playing whenever you want. Use your right hand and just let your imagination have some fun. A one, two, three, four.
Nice job. Hope you had fun improvising with me. Now, this week on your own, I'd like you to practice E major scales, arpeggios, and diatonic chords every day. A great tool for practicing scales, of course, is your metronome. You can put it on at, say, 100 and try to play two notes per click. Work on being very smooth and even. And when you can do that, maybe you try speeding it up a little bit at a time. Can you get it up to 160 two notes per click? That would be going pretty fast. Of course, you're gonna work that up a little bit at a time. Also make sure you're playing with your very best posture, with the bench in a good position, using arm weight, using a good finger shape, listen for a smooth, even tone, and then take some time to improvise in the key of E major. Maybe you can make up a chord progression using some of the diatonic chords from E major. And see what your imagination can do in E major. Great work learning the E major, scale, arpeggio, and diatonic chords. Happy practicing and see you next time. Hey, I have a joke for you too. Okay, let's hear it. Yeah, go for it, princess. Okay. Why do bees have sticky hair? I don't know. Why? Because they use a honeycomb. <laughs> <laughs> that was unbelievably funny, princess. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I've never heard that one before. <laughs> <laughs>